Hello friends in this video we are going to create simple shopping cart by using PHP programming with MySQL database. In this example I will display product from database and each product we have given option to user can enter quantity and adding product to cart and all product details are stored in session. If buyer not want to buy product then he can also remove product from shopping cart this is done by clear this session of that item from the cart and item will be removed from the shopping cart. This is a very simple shopping in which I have only used PHP with my SQL database. This is for beginner programmer who want to create simple shopping cart by using core PHP. This is my test database and in this database I have one table product with four column like it, name, image and price of product. I have already inserted three product into this table. I will fetch this item data from this table and will display on web page. I have store product image in my working folder and get image from product table and display on web page. Now friends I have moved to develop simple shopping cart by using PHP, so I have start coding. This is my index.php page and in this page I've used bootstrap CSS framework with jQuery JavaScript library. On this page first I have write session start PHP function. This function will start session on this page and linked pages. After this I have make database connection, so for this I have write connect variable is equal to misclick connect function with four parameter like host is equal to local host, username is equal to root, password is equal to root and database name is equal to test. Now I want to display product on web page from database. So I have write one query variable is equal to select star from table product to order by it with ascending order. After this I want to execute this query, so for this I have write one result variable is equal to misclick query function with two parameter like database connection string is equal to connector and SQL query which I have store in query variable. This function will execute my SQL query and store into result variable. Now I want to check there is data in result variable or not. For this I have write of statement with condition and in this condition I have write misclean num rows function with parameter like result variable with greater than zero. This function return the number of rows in query result and it is greater zero or not. If it is greater than zero then I want to fetch all data, so for this I have write while loop with open and close bracket and between bracket I have write row variable is equal to miscly fetch array with result variable. This function fetches a result of row as an associative array and store into row variable and by using this row as reference and fetch all data and display on web page. Now I have moved to HTML code and while loop and first I have write open and close division tag with class name call md4 which class of bootstrap library. Between this tag I have write open and close form tag with method post and action equal to index.php question mark action is equal to add and it is equal to dynamic id of product which we have get from product table. For dynamic id I have write echo statement with row variable with column name it. After this I want to display dynamic images from database. So I have write image tag with source is equal to row variable with column name image. This way we can display dynamic image from database. After this I want the display name of product, so for this I have write echo statement with row variable with column name name. This will display product name on web page. After this I want the display price of product from database, so for this I have write row variable with column name price, this will display price of product on web page.
After this I have want to display on text box on web page in which user can enter how many quantity he want to add into shopping cart. So for this I have write input type text with name is equal to quantity and default value is equal to 1. After this I want to add one hidden field and in this field I want to store the value of product name for future use. So for this I have write input type hidden with name is equal to hidden name and value is equal to open and close PHP tag in between tag I have write echo statement with row variable with column name like name. After this I want to add one more hidden fields and in this fields I want to store price of product. For this I have write input type hidden with name is equal to hidden price with value is equal to open and close PHP tag in between tag I have write echo statement with row variable is equal to column name price. This both hidden fields value will be submitted when form submitted this hidden fields value will be submitted. Lastly I want to add add to cart button for add item to shopping cart. So for this I have write input type is equal to submit with name is equal to add to cart with value is equal to add to cart. By click on this button buyer can add item to its shopping cart. Now I have saved this code on check output on browser. Friends you can see three product with product image, product name, product price, text box for quantity. Buyer can enter quantity value into this text box and lastly is add to cart button. When buyer click on this button item will be added into the shopping cart. Now I have moved to item add to shopping cart code. Here when use click on add to cart button then item will be added to shopping cart. So I have write if statement with condition and in condition I have write set function with parameter like dollar post add to cart which is name of submit button. This block of code will execute only when use click on the add the cart button. This condition will check this event. Between this block I have create one session variable with name shopping cart and this variable I will store all the item order data. First I want to check this session variable has some data or not, so I have write if condition with set function with parameter like session shopping cart variable. This code will check the session shopping cart variable has some data or not. If it has data then this block of code will execute otherwise it will execute else block of code. Suppose shopping cart session variable has no data then in else block I have write one item array variable is equal to array and in this array I have write item id key which I have get from this get id variable from URL, item name get from hidden field like hidden name. Item price get from hidden field like hidden price field and item quantity get from text box with name quantity. This way we can store all details of item into item array variable. Now I want to store this details to shopping cart session variable. So I have write session shopping cart variable with index 0 is equal to item array. This way we can store all item details to this session shopping cart variable. Now friends suppose session shopping cart variable has data then at that time if block of code will execute. So in this block first I want to get the data of item id in array format. So for this I have write item id array variable is equal to array column function with two parameter. One parameter is array from which you want to get column of data and second is column name. This is the name of column you want to get the data. Now item id data are stored into this item id array variable in array format. Now I have write if statement with condition like not operator within array function with two parameter. In first parameter I have write dollar get with id value get from URL. This specifies the what to search from second parameter like item in array. This function searches an array for a specific value that means it search item in from the item in array. 
with not operator it check if item mid not present in item in array then it will add item data otherwise it will display item already added into the shopping cart. Suppose item not added into the shopping cart then it will execute if block of code and if block of code I have write count variable is equal to count function with parameter like session shopping cart variable. This count function will count the number of element in an array and store into count variable. After this I have write item array variable is equal to array and array I have store the item mid get from get it variable from URL. Item name from hidden name field, item price get from hidden price field and item quantity get from text box with name quantity. This we can store all item details into item array variable. Now I want to store this details into session shopping cart variable, so I have write session shopping cart with index number which I have store into count variable is equal to item array. This way we can store item detail into session shopping cart variable with proper index number. But suppose there specified item already add into shopping cart then else block of code will execute, so in else block I have write echo statement for display alert message like item already added. When buyer click on OK then page should be redirect to index.php link. So for this I have write echo statement with text like open and close script tag and between this tag I have write window dot location is equal to index dot php. This will redirect page to this link. Now I want to display shopping cart details to buyer. It want to display this details like item name, quantity, price, total and action field and table format. After this I want to display item which have added into shopping cart, so here first I want to check this session shopping cart is not empty, so for this I have write of statement with not operator with empty function with parameter like session shopping cart variable. This condition will check the session variable is not empty, if it is empty it will not display anything on web page. But suppose it is not empty so it will execute this if block code. In this block first I have write total variable is equal to zero. This variable is used to store the total of item price. After this I have write for each loop with open and close bracket and between bracket I have write shopping cart session array as keys with values. By using this loop this shopping cart array divide into two parts keys and values. This way we can access all element of session shopping card array. Now I want to print element on web page in table format. First I want to print item name, so I have write table data tag and between this tag I have write values with keys name item name. After this I want to print item quantity, so I have write table data tag and between this tag I have write values with keys name item quantity. After this I want to print item price, so I have write table data tag and between this tag I have write values with keys like item price. After this I want to print value of item price into item quantity. So I have write table data tag and between this tag I have write number format function and between this function I have write item quantity into item price comma 2. This function will convert number into two decimal point. After this I want to print remove link for remove item from shopping cart. So for this I have write anchor tag with attribute href is equal to index.php question mark action is equal to delete and it is equal to dynamic item mid from session. So I have write values with keys like item it. Now at last I want to get the total price of all add product onto shopping cart. So here I have write total variable is equal to total plus open and close bracket and between bracket I have write item quantity into item price. Now I want to print this total price of all item. 
so I have write table data tag and between this tag I have write number format function with parameter like total variable with two decimal point. Lastly I have show you how to remove item from shopping cart. Suppose buyer want to remove item from shopping cart, then buyer can click on this remove link and he can remove product from shopping cart. In this remove link I have passed two variable, one is action is equal to delete and second is a div item. When buyer click on remove item link then in URL you can see action is equal to delete, so here I have write of statement with condition like set function with parameter get action variable. This condition check get action variable is set and it not null. If the get action variable is set then this if block of code will execute and under this block I have again write if condition with get action variable is equal to delete. This condition check action is equal to delete or not. If action is equal to delete then this if block of code will execute and under this block I have write for each loop with sessions shopping cart variable as keys with values. With help of this for each loop we can access each keys and values of session shopping cart variable. Now under this we want to remove item from the shopping cart array, it of item get from the URL, so for this I have write of condition with values with keys name item mid is equal to get variable lid, here it we have get from URL. This condition will check array item mid is equal to get it which get from which item you want to delete and get from URL. If array item mid is equal to get it then this if block of code will execute and under this block I have write unset function with parameter like session shopping cart variable with index keys. This unset function will destroy variable of shopping cart or A and here keys which have get from for each loop. Now I want to display alert message like item removed so for this I have write echo statement with open and close script tag in between this tag I have write alert message like item removed. After item removed I want to redirect page to index.php page, so I have write echo statement with open and close script tag in between this tag I have write window.location is equal to index.php. This will redirect page to index.php page. Friends our simple shopping cart is ready by using PHP so I have saved this code and checked the output on web page. Our shopping cart is ready here we can add product to shopping cart and below you can see the item which I have added to our cart with details like item name quantity price. If you already add item to cart. Again you cannot that item to cart, you can also remove item from this shopping cart. Here all the transaction are not stored in database but this all store in session variable. So this will increase speed of vote online store this is because all the item data are stored in session variable. Once buyer put order all session value will be cleared. So this is my simple shopping cart by using PHP with my SQL database. If you like this video please share this video with your friends and even you can also share this video on social media also. Friends you want to get more update of my video, so, friends you can subscribe my YouTube channel. Friends you can also like my Facebook page also or you can also follow Webs Listen on Twitter.